Hi! Recently, the first Donet Maui version with uh, Donet 7 support has been released, and while the main focus is continue working in stability, bug fixing, and performance, there are still space to include new functionality with new APIs. And today, in this video, we are going to review one of these new APIs. Until now, in Donet Maui, we are able to create a main menu in the application, desktop applications. But many people was requesting the ability to be able to right-click, for example, in an image and open a flyout with a new menu that are able, for example, to have options to share the match and also be able to create some menu items to choose if ch share the match with an email or in social networks or whatever. Now, with the release candidate one of .NET MAUI in .NET 7, we get new APIs and we continue improving the desktop support in .NET MAUI and one of the new APIs is the context menu API. In this video, we are going to take a look to this API, but as always, first, we are going to take a look with a sample, but first of all, take a look to the sample running. So for example, we have here a web view. We can uh, attach a flyout menu to any visual element, so we can include um, flyout menus to any controls that you use in .NET MAUI. So you, I can right-click here, have here a couple of options, for example, go to MAUI repo, this is invoking command that is navigating to the .NET MAUI repository, and also I can use right-click and invoke some JavaScript, so yeah, I can just have an option with menus, flyout menus, in any uh, visual element. The same can happen, of course, in the rest of views. For example, in an image, we can have a right click, have uh, an event to detect when we are tapping over the command, and the same in case you want to use MVPM. You can invoke a command with parameters, so the same could happen uh, using, in this case, binding to a command in a binding context. We can right click and also, in addition to create menu items, we can create sub menu items. So, for example, we can increase by 10, we can increase 20, or we can increase, for example, 1000. This is all happening, creating a contextual menu with uh, menu items and sub menu items. And the same happens just creating contextual menus in the rest of the content. There are three, four new uh, elements included in the API, and we are going to take a look right now, taking a look to the sample. But first of all, I want to mention that this API is pretty similar in naming and also with the main properties and events to the Win UI menu flyout API. It's exactly same, pretty, pretty similar. There are really small changes, so if you already know this API, probably you will take advantage of that and learn the new uh, menu flyout API in MAUI very, very quickly. Going back to the code, and from the first sample to the latest one, we have the web view case. We can attach a context flyout to any visual element. To use that, we use the context flyout property in this way, where we can create a menu flyout like this, and the content of the menu flyout, it's a collection of menu flyout items. We have, in fact, three different kinds of elements. We can include directly a menu flyout item that uh, expect mostly a text icon. And then this is for the appearance, for customized appearance of the menu flyout item. We have events, the clicked events, and we have also the command and the command parameter properties in case you want to use uh, a biting context and use the MVPM pattern. Then we have the menu flyout separator item that is pretty simple. It's used drawing a line between the different elements to separate them. And then we have the menu flyout sub item that is a special case that expect a collection of menu flyout items as children 
In that way, we can create cases like this where we can include more options in a soup menu. Then we can manage the events in a simple way. It's, it's used like the rest of the events, like the button click, etc. We can detect when a specific context menu is clicked. And also, we have options to uh, invoke directly a command, like in this case. Talking about the customization of, uh, of uh, the uh, menu items, we can customize the icon and the text of the submenu item. Of, of course, we can customize exactly the same in case we include some submenu. So a really interesting new API, we can just create submenus for any visual element in .NET MAUI. This is the fourth to continue improving the desktop support in .NET MAUI, including new APIs that are requested in many kinds of uh, desktop applications. It's a simple API, pretty close to the WinUI one. Remember, we can attach a context flyout to any visual element. Then we create a menu flyout where we can use introduce sub items of kind menu flyout item. Pretty simple, but uh, also opens really nice new possibilities. This is a really, really interesting API. If you already have worked with WingY, probably you already know the API because it's mostly the same. I know that it's a really expected functionality to continue improving the possibilities and create better and better desktop applications with .NET MAUI. But as always, what do you think? Please, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave your feedback in the comment of the video. And see you all soon. Bye.